It has come to light that the CLAP ransomware gang, also known as TA505, was the one that began exploiting a previously unknown structure SQL language, or SQL for short, injection vulnerability, CVE-2023-3438. And the software known has move it and before we dig in into how it happened why don't we go and talk about the clap ransomware gang and its origins the clap ransomware gang evolved as a variant of the crypto mix ransomware family in february 2019, security researchers discovered the use of CLAP by the threat group known as TA505 when it launched a large scale spear phishing email campaign. CLAP is an example of ransomware as a service that is operated by a Russian speaking group. Additionally, this ransomware used a verified digital sign binary which made it look like a legitimate executable file that could evade security detection. In 2020, it was reported that Fin11, a financially motivated hacking group, deployed CLAP ransomware and terrorized their victims to publish exfiltrated data. Fin11 exploited zero-day vulnerabilities in the legacy file transfer appliance or FTA of KiteWorks to infiltrate the network of the victims, which is similar to what happened um, to move it. Active since at least February 2019, the adversary has been linked to a wide range of activities in cybercrime including operating a ransomware as a service and acting as an affiliate for other ransomware as a service schemes. It has also been observed acting as an initial access broker to profit of access to compromised enterprise networks, also known as a customer of other IBAs, underscoring the interconnected nature of the threat landscape. CLAP has been one of the most prolific ransomware families in the past three years. It has gained infamy for compromising high-profile organizations in various industries worldwide, using multi-level extortion techniques that resulted in huge payouts estimated at $500 million as of November of 2021. Guys, it sounds like I need to change careers. Now it's time to talk about the CLAP ransomware victims. They have broken into Shell Global, the high-end jet manufacturer Bombardier Aviation, and several universities in the United States, such as Stanford, Colorado, and Miami. It's worth noting that CLAP carry out similar mass exploiting attacks on other managed file transfer applications such as SolarWinds, SolarView, Acelian FTA, and Go Anywhere MFD since December of 2020. Now we can see a picture of the tap affected countries and industries by the CLAP ransomware. You can see that they have been really active exploiting in the United States because most of them pay and you can see that the industry that they attack the most is healthcare because you know health that's where all the money is so how was this exploit executed internet facing move it transfer web applications were infected with a web shell named loomer loot which was then used to steal data from underlying move it transfer databases. In an analysis, 
it was identified that there was activity indicating that the clap threat actors were likely experimenting with ways to exploit this particular flaw in April 2022 and as far back as July of 2021 meaning that they probably had this exploit for at least about a year which is really crazy if you think about it the finding is particularly significant as it serves to illustrate the attacker's technical expertise and the planning that has gone into staging the intr intrusions much before the recent wave of exploitations began. This is the third time CLAP ransomware group have used a zero day in web apps for extortion in three years. Stay safe out there guys and be careful.